friends, it's Star Thrifter, and um, I have some information to share with you today on how to either end all your promotions in the bulk edit list um, edit feature on eBay or how to create a bulk um, edit promotion. Um, I know that when you list, um, you can do it individually, you know, at the very bottom, especially if you're on the desktop or on any of them. It'll ask you if you want to promote, you can do it individually, and I did that all this time I would you know because it would depend on what it was what category and what promotion level that category some categories a little more than others anyways um, and I would do it individually but this weekend I did it all in one bulk edit and um, it was um, a lot easier anyhow I'll go ahead and show it to you and uh, we'll get right on to it if you've not watched any of my other videos before I sell full-time on eBay and I also sell some on Poshmark I mainly sell all clothing once in a while, I may have something else um, miscellaneous. Um, I did have some shoes, but I think um, all of those are off now. And um, anyways, um, all women and men's clothing. We'll get right into it. I'll show you. Top and you um, can go ahead if you want to start on you know your main page where you know brings up all your information. You're gonna come over here under marketing. And under marketing, you're going to click on the second thing where it says promotions. Now, I used to run all my sales individually, too, where you click over here and you have the option to either, you know, run a sales or your coupon or whatever. But for promoted listings, that's where you pay eBay to promote. How uh, you get to that, if you want to do it, bulk edit, is you come over here where it says under advertising. Oops, the camera just went blurry. Sorry about that. Under advertising, it says dashboard. You click on dashboard. Then it's going to bring you up um, what you have going on right now. First thing here is your impressions, your click, clicks, how many items sold. These are all just your promoted listings from what I understand. Your sales, obviously, because my sales are a lot more than that. How much you've paid for your ad fees. I think this is just per, per, per for promoted it should be your average um, ad fee um, rate I'm sorry your sales conversion rate which right now it's at 2.10 it says it's down 0.90 but 2.10 is pretty great and um, I don't know what that CR CTR is anyhow you scroll down here and it shows you the difference this would be organic, and um, this is your promoted listings. And you can see what I did is I used to promote them all individually. And this weekend, I promoted them all together. And I mess, up, I play around with how much I want to promote. But look at, look at this. That's amazing. I don't know how come it comes down like that because it's still doing. I thought pretty great today, but anyhow, that's really great. What you want to do is you scroll down. A little bit farther and it's going to show you the two promotions that you, sorry about that it's going to show you the two promotions that you currently have running this thing is not um working too great here and i got campaign one and campaign two under or this one here this is zero this is where i have them all all you have to do is you can either edit it or I could end it. And if you have a bunch of campaigns where like um, you did them all individually, depends on how many campaigns you did, went under and you want to end them all, just go through there and start clicking end and you would end them all. Or if I want to go in here, since I already have this campaign going and I want to edit it, I could go in there and change. Um, like if I wanted to edit it, I would click on edit. And right now it's going to show, you know, Go over here and it's under all listings and what you want to do is up here where it says how many listings I got and your ad rate average you can go in here and you just edit it and the first thing you click on is set ad rate cap that's if you want to cap it at something sorry that I can't get this closer this is okay maybe this will work you can cap it at something or I don't know. I didn't put anything in there. I don't know how come that's in there. And then adjusted um, 
adjust suggested ad rate and then apply a fixed ad rate and you can change this to anything and um i've been playing around with it and um this weekend i did 15 percent. that's extremely aggressive and um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to back out of this because I don't want to change it right now. But that's all you do and you apply it. Uh, but 15% is very aggressive. And I don't think I'll be staying with that because remember. It okay, like I said, I did 15%. That's very aggressive. I've not ever did that. And I went straight across the board. That's really aggressive because that really does kind of cut into the profits. Because remember, if you're paying 15% for your ad rates, you're also paying your... Um, you, your fees for your selling fees on each item and that could be anywhere from 10 to 15 depends on if you're top rated seller and things like that what percent are you paying on that let's say if it's even at 10 percent, and if you're doing this at 15 that's 25 percent that they're getting and they take it off from from my understanding it and um i know this is part of the new seller updates that when you have promotions they're they're charging it on the price of the item the shipping, if you have shipping separately, and also the tax, I think. And I think they said the only thing new on one of the resellers mentioned was the tax added. I guess they've always charged it on the shipping and on um, the item. Let's say you have an item for sale for $20. You have $5.98 shipping and then whatever sales tax. They're going to, it'll be $25.98 plus the tax. That's what you're paying your promotion amount on. And if you're at 15%, you're paying 15% on that first. Then you subtract that, then you would subtract your shipping out of that, and then I don't know if your final value fees is on the shipping, it is, I think, no, before you subtract the shipping, then you have to do your 10%, you do your 15 first, then your 10%, then you subtract the shipping, and then you subtract your cost of goods, and then you subtract how much your, like your tax, like your income tax that you're going to withhold. It kind of adds up to a lot. However, I will tell you what, my sales really went up. I, it was really slow for a couple of days. That's the only reason I did that that aggressively. I'm going to be changing that. And I'll play around with the different amounts. Leave in the comment what you promote at and whether you're going to promote or not. I know a lot of people were kind of flipped out because on Facebook and there was a couple of YouTubers that say that eBay was going to be doing all these wild things, you know, with the promoted listings and stuff. And... I have that, I guess, is not even true. Get on there and really take your time and really read the summer updates yourself. And then also get on there. And um, Rockstar Flipper did a really good video on it. Um, I would, you, you know, suggest watching his and he explains it. And I think that that's, he has it um, down pretty great. I mean, uh, but you always want to use your own discretion on that. Because I was a little concerned too at first. I went, whoa, what the world? But no, it's not going to be um, anything wild or anything like that. I'm going to continue to use the ads, um, the promoted listings. However, I'm not going to say at 15%, but I thought I'd try it out just to see, you know, and I'll play around with it. Anyhow, hope you've got some valuable content out of this. And um, if you'd like, you can subscribe. I got a lot of other videos up. I also just um, have a video up on how to uh, refresh your listings by using the bulk edit tool on eBay. And I show you how to do that. And I have a ton of other haul videos and a bunch of other videos on how to increase sales. And um, if you um, would like, please push the thumbs up button. Many prosperous sales to you. Thank you.